hi everybody it's Anne here from Positively Papercraft and I'm back with a sort of a bit of a different video today we're not going to be making anything as such but I'm going to share with you a lot of sort of tips and tricks and little hacks and things that I think you would benefit from so the first thing is this is just a little tub that I keep at the side of my desk and what I do is I cut up ready different size card bases so I have like my you know four and one eighth by five and seven eighths I have six by six I have five by seven and I have one or two DL cards so I have them in the front but then what I do as well is I found this is really good I have these pockets now I use these for all sorts Um, you can get all different sizes these are these fit um up to where well, they must be five by seven these then you can also get six by six and even dl ones even four by fours and then i also have these really big ones are what i store my dies in most of my dies and I've bought these for a long time now so what I do is I will cut the card fronts and I will just make a little label with my little labeler machine and then when I'm you know instead of having to mess around and cut things I know that I've got five by seven watercolor card fronts in there and they have a little sort of lip on the back and they close as well so I've done a black and you know whatever sizes I want and then again black um, craft watercolor and it's just so easy to have them ready and again with the six by six and um, sorry the five by seven um, Yeah, I don't think have I cut any six by six. I'm not sure actually. Maybe I haven't. I don't make a lot of them anyway. But yeah, that's what I do. Um, as I said, you can get all sizes. I love these. Um, I'm gonna. I'll put the link for where I get them from. But they're such good quality as well. And then so you know when I know I'm making a card or whatever, get my card. I know the size. And then I want to make a watercolour front I just take that out and it's all ready so this has saved me a lot of time and then as I said I just keep them beside my um, desk but I like the fact you can even get the DL ones as well probably even more sizes if if you have a look so that's the first one all right so the next one um, this is not new and I think I did this a few years ago on my channel but I thought it was a really good little thing to sort of redo and um, this is just homemade stamp cleaner really easy to do I've just got some measuring cups and I've got one cup of water of sort of water that's all it is just water I've got a spray bottle and one cup would make two of these okay so I've got my water in now all you need is some, oh nearly dropped it, some glycerine. I got this from the bacon aisle. You tend to find it's cheaper than buying it like in the cosmetic section. So I am just going to open this and put in probably about say a teaspoon. I mean that's quite a big teaspoon there but that's what I'm going to put in just drop that in just give that a little mix about now if you want you can add rose water all that does is make it smell nice I don't bother putting it in because quite frankly I don't really care about the smell <laughs> now a lot of them say um, to use baby shampoo which is great use it yes I don't have any and I've used this before a bit of washing up liquid and I found it was just as just as good um, so I just put 
probably the same amount as that I put in for the glycerine and I'll just pop it in just give it a little mix and that's it basically and it really does work to clean your stamps I used to make this all the time and it actually smells quite nice because this is pink jasmine so and then you're just going to pour it into your bottle a funnel would be better but I can't find my funnel at the minute so I'm going to attempt to pour this in probably pour most of it away <laughs> so yeah I've wasted quite a bit but you know it's it is what it is I don't I can't find my funnel so that is it that's your stamp cleaner but as I said if you want to you know use um the baby shampoo it's fine but there's absolutely nothing wrong with using this either because I have used it before so that was the second one okay so this next one is sort of I suppose a little little tips up I, I think so what I'd, I've done for a while is I've got like an A5 binder here and I keep in this all of my sort of swatches for like all the sort of markers and watercolours so the only really markers I have now is the Ahuhu markers I love them and I don't really well no I'm no good at alcohol pens I wish I was but I just I'm rubbish at them so I didn't want to you know I have had loads of different brands and I've sold them because I just don't use them so now but I will keep the Yahoohoo because I think these are brilliant so I've got me a hoo, hoo there um, I have the Yahoohoo pastels um, and the skin tones and then I have my Stampin' Blends I still have a lot of them from when I was with Stampin' Up and uh, they're not the cheapest but they are brilliant so I've still got quite a few of them and then I've got my coloured pencils so Arteza um, I have Polychromos I have the Prisma colour pencils which these are my favourites they're so creamy I love them pencils then watercolours alright so I've got all my different watercolours watercolour pencils um, brush pens um, some half pans and then my those Curatake um, metallic -y watercolours and then this is where I'm attempting to sort of make some little blends and whatnot attempting so that's what I do every time I get anything like that because it just I can just get this out and then I know what colours are what what I want to use so do that for every kind of pens and pencils you get you can also do like your ink pads and things mm, I don't really feel like is it's necessary to do them but you may um, and I just get the A5 pockets and keep them in there now I also do this for um, stencils so I find this so much easier to get them out and see what you've got instead of messing around in a drawer so I've got an A4 binder and then I just get obviously the pockets and I normally put a piece of card in so that I can well not in this one but you could put two in one pocket so I just keep the larger stencils in here um, any A4 or you know 8 by 8 just bigger ones really I don't have a ton of stencils so that's what I do for that and then the smaller ones I've got another A5 binder and I just keep them in here and then I can see exactly what I'm what I've got and what I want to use again a bit of card behind and you can put you know two in each pocket so that's what I do that's how I keep them and then with the ones I made with the laminator they are really good stencils so that's just another tip easy at the store you can actually see what you've got instead of fumbling around in drawers and if you 
excuse me if you wanted to you could also put the name if you think it's necessary you know or the brand or whatever you want to do that's how I keep them and then it leads me onto this that I found and I love this because I used to keep all my alcohol markers sort of displayed on stands number one they were getting covered in dust you know I don't really use them um, number two I think it's just taken up more space so I found this on Amazon and I'm going to show you it holds 120 markers and that's the only alcohol markers I have now well the stamp and blends I've got them in another bag like this and these actually lift out as well these little things but what I like is inside it's like a sort of metallic-y thing so if the bled or anything it wouldn't ruin the bag and soak through to the fabric you get a little carry handle so say if you want to I don't know wherever you craft you might you might craft upstairs you want to carry it downstairs vice versa and colour in front of the TV something like that so this is what I keep them in and I think it's so much easier it keeps the dust off them but I will say when you put it in the cupboard or wherever you're storing it store it this way because keeping your markers vertical will make the colour all run to one end so if when you put it down to store it store it like that but I'll put the link for it but you can get them in you can get the bags that hold 60 I think it's 60 um, I'm not sure if it's the 80 there might be a 240 or 180 I don't know there's quite a few but I got the 120 um, and I absolutely love this so yes um, there is a couple of more tips all right now another one we're back to the glycerine again now if you have um, a embossing ink pad um, I have a few now I bought this hero arts one and a while ago get the lid off and it's very different to what we sort of have it's more like a rubber and I it's okay but I didn't find it as juicy as like the Versamark but anyway whatever pad you've got if it's say dried out a little bit you can revive it with the glycerine all you do is get a bit of your glycerine and I'm just I'll show you how much I'm gonna drop on not loads you see get a spoon and just sort of rub it over the pad and that will revive it and bring it back you know if it's dried out and it's not juicy anymore just a reviver it's obviously not going to re-ink it but it's going to revive it so another thing is I've got a Versamark embossing pen so see if this one's okay I think take the little nib out and if you get a, some glycerine again if it's dried out you really should have like a little um oh I've got one actually what do you call them you'll know what I mean in a minute when I get it out a little pipette so if we get a bit of glycerine in and just in here just put one little drop in the barrel put the nib back in and that will revive your embossing pen as well so there's another tip now what you can also do is if you get your glycerine um, just in a little spray bottle so say put I don't know maybe it's a little, half a teaspoon with a little bit of water and you can spritz it to revive your distress oxides you know any sort of water um, water based ink pads it will revive them the same with like water markers you can just spray it on spritz it on your pad and it will revive them back so yes 
definitely keep a bottle of this because you can do loads of other things with this as well. So that's another tip. All right, another one. Again, nothing new, but I think it's really cool. I've just got a piece of regular card and I've got this, which is, you see, all purpose ink frost white. Now you can get these in different colors, I think gold, copper, maybe I'm not sure. I've only got the frost white, but what you can do is give it a shake. Is if you sort of put, well, I'm going to put a little, cause it's just paint really. I'm going to put some on a blending sponge. And what you can do is make your card like a pearlescent card. That's basically it. It dries really quick, doesn't crack or anything like that. That is so cool. And then if you look at the difference, you can see the difference. That is beautiful. It's virtually dry. Leave it another minute or so while it's drying. You remember I've done a couple of videos on making your shimmer spray with like pearlescent powders and whatnot. You can also do it with this. And mine's out now because uh, this was the ice white shimmer spray I made on the video. I'll link it somewhere or maybe it's at the end. And I use it a lot and I rinsed it out. There was just a little tiny bit in the bottom. It's all gone now. So isopropyl alcohol. I always keep this because you can clean your scissors with it, your desk, anything. It's brilliant stuff. I use it for my nails as well. When I paint them with the gel, you have to wipe the sticky layer off the top when the top coat's done. So I wipe it with, the, with this. So I'm going to fill my bottle with the isopropyl alcohol. I'm nearly out of this now. So I'm going to have to get some, there's my lid gone, get some more. So I've got filled my bottle and I'm basically just going to tip some of this in the bottle. I'm going to put the lid on and we're going to give it a shake. Can you see? Now let's test it out. So that's the one we've done with the brush where we brushed it on. Is it much of a shimmer? Oh yes, you can see. If you sort of look here where it's sprayed, Oh, I hope the camera's picking up, but it's beautiful. It's really subtle, but it's, it's hard for you to see. Can you see there? Yeah, you can. That is so nice. Oh yeah, that's very subtle. It's beautiful. I really like that. And then with it being the isopropyl alcohol, it won't soak the card because it dries really quick. Yeah. That is beautiful. As I said, I know they do other colours. So I may actually just add a tad more. But it is beautiful. There, I've just put a f you know a few drops more in. beautiful so it's worth having a bottle of this definitely so we sprayed we rubbed that on our pearl card to make our pearl card so I've got an embossing folder which is damask 
I'm going to spray the back with water. I get asked this a lot, why do I spray it with water? Because these embossing folders are so sort of, well, the 3D, but you really, you're only wetting the card to allow all these little nooks and crannies and crevices to get in the fibres and less um, cracking it, you'll have less chance of it cracking. You don't need to spray card with regular folders but 3D it's best to spray them. I've got my fold away, all I use, base platform, embossing folder and one cutting pad and it should go through run it through forwards and backwards just to get a better emboss a better emboss really let's have a look oh, that is so beautiful so you can see the difference from what it was to what it is now wow that's amazing I did a greenish one as well. Oh, so yes, get yourself some of that. That is just beautiful. I'm gonna, I may even try another couple of colors actually. And even the shimmer spray, that is so, it's hard, so hard to pick it up, but it's beautiful. It's very subtle, but you can definitely see the shimmer on that card there it's so nice so how cool is that absolutely love that okay so that's that one okay so i've got a last one for you and this one i sort of discovered the other week i just thought i would try it and it worked so if you're like me you've probably got quite a few sort of nouveau drops and um, pearl effects stuff like that now i find after a while these go sort of they're just not right they don't come out right they, they kind of thicken so i'm gonna move this out the way and i'm gonna show you what i mean so i've got a bit of card now this is um navy blue just nouveau crystal drop now i'm going to put it on my card oh, it's probably see can you see how it's standing up like that it's too thick yes you can tap underneath but they shouldn't really be coming out like that and i think that's because it's too thick or it's gone too thick so this is what i do just take the top off okay isopropyl alcohol again this is why you do always need to have a bottle I think so I've got it in this little sort of fine tip glue thing now in terms of the amount um, let me see if I can count so three four five six seven eight nine ten ten little drops I've put in that bowl and then I'm going to put the lid back on and I'm going to give it a really good shake okay now what you will find is at first it will probably come out quite watery don't worry that all that changes you know in a very short space of time you see it will come out like that and you'll think oh I've ruined it trust as you haven't just wait a little bit that's starting to come right now so let's see what now so if we it's still not quite right you've you've got to give it a little bit of time for it to, I don't know whether it absorbs or I don't know It's, that's better now so if we make a little drop and another one 
give the little bottom a tap. Now look, I've gone from that to that. And the dry, I've done it. I've been, you know, doing quite a few of the bottles lately. I mean, look at the difference. You can't really do anything with that. It's way too thick. Perfect, perfect little dots again. I mean, let me see if I got, these are, these 3D pearls. Now I've had some of these for ages, but you tend to find these are okay. See, they don't seem to go like that. Try one more. But yet I find the Nouveau drops do. See, no, they don't. They don't really do that. Um, I'm not sure if I did this pink one the other day. We'll have a look and see. Yeah, see, there we go again. Look, I mean, it's just coming out like... I can show you there. Awful. You can't really do anything with that. So again, I'm going to take the lid off. 10 drops of the isopropyl alcohol. But that this is brilliant. I just sort of sat and thought the other week, well, these are ridiculous. You know, I haven't even used them and I can't use them now because they're just way too thick. <clears throat> like you can't do anything with that. Again, we're going to give it really good shake around. But you must remember, don't put it on your card straight away because it will come out watery. Now this one hasn't, so I don't know whether this one must be really thick. It's starting to come through a little bit now. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's just a waste of money, isn't it? When you're buying them and they're not even last, like you can't use them. No, I think this one's gonna need even more in. It just goes to show you how, I think I've had this one quite a while. Um, and I don't think the nib's blogged, so. try it now see if it might have been a bit blogged as well yeah see that's working better now so I'm going to give it another shake see look look at that now So it's gone from sort of that mess there to that. So try that, but just give it a good shake, wait a little bit, don't put it on your card straight away because it will be watery until it sort of all mixes together again. Now whether or not you might have to do it regularly or Maybe it'll last a while, I don't know. But for a few drops of isopropyl alcohol, that is so worth it because you just can't do anything with them. That's what they all go like, in my opinion. Um, quite quickly as well, I think a few months, if I'm honest. Put these in and they're back to new again. So I hope you've enjoyed all the little tips and tricks and whatever. Um, and I will be back again on Sunday with another video. So yeah, thanks for watching. Take care and bye for now.